<clears throat> All right, what I learned this week. So, a few things. One, just learned the, the importance of you gotta nip problems in the bud when they first come up. Because I just had, had like a bit of a twinge in my back this week. Sort of had a few like small back issues in the past. And the thing is like, just as soon as I felt the pain and it felt like bad, just went and saw my physio straight away. Just because now it's like easy to fix it. Like it's just a small little niggle in the back. I can fix it up in like a week, just get a little bit of treatment and then it fixes itself. What most people do is they just, they like ignore it, ignore it. And then just like compounds with this massive problem where eventually they become like a hunchback in like severe pain. And then the problem is it's too late to fix it or do anything about it. So not just with like physical things, but anytime there's like a small issue, it's always so much easier and quicker just to just nip it in the bud straight away. Just fix it up while you still can, while it's easy. So that was one. Number two, just some interesting practical things I learned from my physio about like ergonomics. Because like I, I work in like an office job. So I was, originally I had back problems from sitting all day in like a normal chair. And I think most people know that sitting in a chair is, all day is bad. But it's also bad, it's almost equally as bad to stand all day as well. Cause like I've got a standing desk now, but you shouldn't actually stand all day. So it's better to have one that goes up and down. So you stand for a bit until you get tired. Then you sit until you get tired of sitting and you just keep cycling through because body's designed to move. So it's not necessarily like the sitting that's a bad thing. It's just the being stagnant in one position. So standing's bad as well. So. Yeah, just interesting tips you gave me there. Um, another small random thing. It's kind of just like, it's just like wording. So the place I work, there's quite a lot of people who work part-time in the office. Like they, there's a few different businesses there and a lot of them are part-time. And I'm always curious like what people are doing outside of work. If they're only working part-time, like are they like studying something or are they working on their own business or something? But it's kind of, I don't like asking the question, like, what else do you do? Because it's kind of like assumptive and a bit judgmental sounding when you're just kind of asking someone straight up, oh, like, what else do you do? As if, like, they should be doing something else, as if, like, them working part-time isn't good enough. So I started asking people, instead of what else are you doing, I asked them, are there any other projects you're working on at the moment? Just an, it's just a nicer way to ask the question. And you always find it's always little nuances that make the bigger difference. So people are a lot more likely to be like open with you. And if you ask it in a better way like that. So it's, it's all about asking good questions. And sometimes it literally is just the phrasing. Like they effectively mean the same thing, but just saying it in a nicer way, in a better way, get more engagement and a bit more just them being a bit more open with you, so yeah, just a few random things I learnt this week. Good to just document it so I can remember it moving forward. So yeah, if you like these videos, if you find them interesting at all, please subscribe to the channel. I'll keep doing more. And my arm is getting very sore because I just worked out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.